All right, time to start finishing off all of the timber that I've put in and I've decided to use a clear varnish to seal up the timber but also keep that nice natural timber look. So a bit of sanding in between and wiping down all of the dust in between all of these different coats. Wax on, wax off. So I've used a clear varnish that's got a matte finish and it's also water-based so it stops all that odour coming up off the timber when it's done and uh, it's a really strong odour if you, if you don't use a water-based one, especially in a small space like this. But uh, a few, few different coats, I'm not going to torch you with every single coat. You can see I've done about three or four coats on this and it's looking really good already but I wanted to make it just that little bit smoother and uh, the, because I could kind of feel the brush strokes, so I gave it a really good sand all over again and a few more coats to make it really smooth. It's that smooth after you ain't done it in a number of years. So wiping all those down uh, in between coats was really important because I noticed on the first coat, when I didn't wipe it down like that, uh, it, it really made it quite rough. If you, if you got any dust in the coats at all, uh, it just really, really made the whole thing feel rough. Uh, it's like, kind of like sandpaper, it's, it was that bad. So yeah, in between coats, wiping it all down and making sure uh, I give it a nice smooth finish all over. I actually changed the brush. You can see the brush here that I've changed. Uh, I bought a, a really high quality brush after the, uh, the first few coats because it just wasn't going on right. Anyway, putting the chalk under there and coating the timber on the top of the seat there so that uh, it doesn't stick obviously when it dries and uh, that worked really well. Getting it all in there and the nice little crevices there where the, uh, the handles are, making sure it's all covered from top to bottom. And uh, I was pretty happy with how it was going on with these last few coats. It was looking really, really smooth and uh, I was very happy with the way it was, was drying and then each of the coats on top of that was drying as well. So it turned out really good. Happy with that. Finishing up these last few coats here. I think this is one of the last coats that I even did. And uh, I'm being very careful not to get any dust on the brush at the bottom there. Very, very careful. <laughs> anyway, it worked out really good. You can see at the end, it's a beautiful finish. I'm very happy with how that turned out. Super smooth to the touch. Uh, very nice. Then it was time to start finishing off the timber on the inside of the kitchenette area, on the walls there. So just marking out some of this leftover plywood, giving it a good cut to the right angle. And again, fitting it to the side here, making sure it's all fitting properly before I attach it. Giving it a nice sand. And I actually haven't uh, finished this part of the timber yet. I haven't put the finish on it. I attached it without the uh, insulation behind it, which was very annoying. I had to go back and, uh, on both sides, to go back and take it off again to fit that insulation in behind that panel. But uh, yeah, it was only a few screws. Anyway, it's uh, all matching up pretty nicely and uh, I'm going to have that uh, nice varnish on that side of it as well. But uh, I decided to put in a kind of a different bench top so it wasn't all exactly the same timber so I've cut that to size and put that in there it's looking pretty good fits nicely I'm gonna be like Gordon Ramsay in here before long I'm not around so it's all coming together I've got the sink in off camera and it's all looking pretty good but that'll be it for now until I get back from Thailand I'll be over there for a few weeks so I'll do some videos to show you what I'm getting up to over there I know where to go